2012-13 Air Force season opened with the Falcons looking for replacements for two of the program's best defensemen ever and a stellar team captain. After a pair of nondescript ties at a tournament in Alaska, Air Force came home to play the in-state rivals. But things didn't turn out quite as they had planned. Long stretch pass, getting behind everybody. This is going to be Hamburg, comes in, and he scores! That's Milton, does his shoot, brings it back to the blue line, but went to short, down the slot, save, and then it got past Jason Torp. The first conference contest of the season took the Falcons to Buffalo, New York for a date with Canisius. And despite jumping on the Griffs early in the first, what proved to be their lone goal only led to a tie. Two nights later, it seemed the Falcons had found their groove, enjoying a 4-1 win over Robert Morris on the Colonial's ice. They've cycled it to the blue line to Carew. Carew gives it left to Cruz. Cruz down low on the goal line to DeLauro. Comes out the goal line, across Halloran. One times it, in, score, Air Force. Ball into the Air Force, and it goes, and this is Friedman. Friedman shot, saved by Torf. Rebound, another shot, saved by Torf. Another shot, Torf got a glove on that one. While the early months of the season moved on, there were flashes of brilliance and instances of disheartening performances, all of which left the team in a big hole. But just before the holiday break, a series at fourth place Bentley showed signs of improvement. Here's Gunner, one against two. Cole Gunner passes it to himself, gets the shot away, and it not, a, not into the air. Carew bats it into the goal. Stephen Carew on the goal, and he bats that one in. That would tie this up at 1-1, defensed on the play by Marginski, and a centering pass out front, tip in, score, Air Force. And along the wall, the Falcons bring it up the near side. Cole Gunner stays on side, Gunner has it, goes around one man, comes in, he goes to the backhand, goal, Cole Gunner. Despite the three points, Air Force closed the first half at 5-7-4, and four, ninth place in the Atlantic hockey standings. Certainly an unaccustomed place. A pair of games in the Mariucci Classic in Minnesota gave the Falcons a chance to improve on that performance. And despite falling to the homestanding Gophers, a romp over Alabama Huntsville was a boost of confidence they needed. From that point forward, the men in blue lost just two of their next 14 games, taking three of four points from rival Army. Peru saves it at the blue line, the funnel one down the slot, it rolls, it chips, it finds the back of the net. That was Kyle Delore. It's 2-0 Air Force. Richards comes out of there with it. He's still got it, comes in on Torf. Save Torf, rebound. Another save Torf on the rebound. Back to back. Jason Torf slams the door shut. Us into the corner. From the corner, he centers a pass. Demers shoots, and he hits the near post. The rebound is back out to the blue line. Rifled in from there. It's scramble in front of the net, and it's put in by Air Force. Tie game 1-1. One, one. Was that Johnny Cruz off the goalie? The Air Force ties this game. 1-1. One, one. Sweeping so Sacred line, Heart and Robert Morris. Finally, Thomas gets a stick on it, dumps it in behind the net. And now Fabian with the takeaway and a breakaway. Jason Fabian comes in on Legato. He shoots and he scores! Out front, comes right back to McKenzie. Max sends it low behind the net. A little gip and go. Score, Air Force. Fine. The senior out of Illinois for the Colonials. Out to the point, shot in. Fine loses it, picking it up out front and putting it in. That's Kyle DeLauro. Herbato has it, trailed by Brace, two on one, shorthanded. This is a shot, Brace, and Torp makes the save, gloves it out of the air, one-handed, sliding from his left to right. Boy, what a stop there by Jason Torp. Levine with a couple of huge saves, denying Air Force on the five on three, but not right there. That's McKenzie. How about Jason Torp gives up one goal on the weekend? And also taking all four points in a home series with Canisius. Puck still in the circle, comes out of there. Halloran has it. Halloran fires away. Halloran scores. Goal, Air Force, power play, and it's 2-1. And Alex Halloran gets his second of the season. It breaks the tie for Canisius on the power play for the second time. Last time they had the man advantage, they scored. Moore sends a pass across. He comes back to Rumble, high in the slot. Down the slot, tip, score, Canisius. Canisius has scored on their first two power plays tonight. One of them by Beck late in the first, and the one right there that gave the Griffs a 2-0 lead. But Fabian will break in. Fabian pulls up, goal line far side. Sends it back to the blue line to McDonald. His shot is tipped out front. Score! Air Force. 
I think that's Ben Persian on the tip in, Jay. Here's Sullivan on the draw against Carey, two number 26s, and Carey wins it to Cruz coming up the near wall. Cruz to Weisenhofer, Weisenhofer gives left for the shot, and sniping it home is Scott Holm. 2-2, we are tied. Well, Scotty Holm gets his sixth of the season. What a big goal it is for Air Force, it ties it. Cruz fumbles it, gets it back. Cruz, a cross box pass for a shot out front. Scott Holm on the doorstep, can't do it. Trying to pick it up is gonna be tomorrow. Goes backhand, scramble in front, score! Air Force. Scott Holm gets his second of the night and Air Force takes a 3-2 lead. There it goes, up the ice and get out the room because the Falcons are gonna sweep the Griffs at Cadet Ice Arena tonight to a final score, 3-2. Despite all of the recent success, the early stumbles left the Falcons continuing to look up at one team in the Atlantic Hockey standings, Niagara. And it just so happened that the final series of the regular season brought those 13th ranked Purple Eagles to the Cadet Ice Arena. Couldn't get there in time. CJ Chartrain sends it out to center ice. Picked up there and shot in from the blue line and a score. Niagara took on second of the night. It's 2 0. Purple Eagles, nine minutes left in the first. McKenzie, McKenzie in the corner, has the puck, gives it to Demers. Demers comes out, centers out front, Jet score! Air Force, Scott Holm, power play goal. Walsh will rim it in for Air Force, cut off behind the net by Chubak. Made a bad pass, getting out of there, the puck loose out front, Jet score! Air Force, we're tied at two apiece. Stephen Carew picked up that loose puck right at the hash marks, and the senior gets number 11 on the year. Going with it, Cole Gunner. Gunner gains the blue line. Gunner along the wall. Sends one towards the net. Shot out front. Score! Air Force! Air Force gets on the board. 26 seconds into the third period. Niagara has the empty net. He fires away again. It's blocked again. And it's loose out front. Two against one. Air Force with an empty net. Tony Thomas sends it across. The one-timer! Kyle DeLauro buries it. It's four. Two, Air Force. What? The Laurel gets number 17 on the season. Their final score, Air Force five, Niagara two. Cruz beats McKenzie at the blue line. Fumbled the puck, but gets it back, saves it, gets it to Cruz, and Johnny Cruz lights the lamp off the crossbar. Right, there's another goal. Air Force, Persian, five hole. 2-0 Falcons. About two goals in a span of 12 seconds for Air Force. The Air Force with a 2-0 lead, 2.36 left. First period, Kenzie to Thomas. Air Force breaks in, three against two. This is Demers from Thomas to shot. Hits somebody in the back, up the top three. It's loose, centering pass out front. Demers, score! Air Force. Boy, a no-look shot there by Chad Demers. His back to the goalie, and he gets his ninth of the season. Chad Demers gives Air Force a 4-1 lead. 6.38 left, second period. Over the head of Campbell. Take away by Persian. Persian comes in. Persian breakaway. Goes backhand. Five hole. Scores. Persian second of the game. For Ben Persian, what a nice move he made. 6-1. Air Force lead 7.53 left in the first. And the Falcons are going to sweep Niagara 5-2 last night, 6-1 tonight. Even though Air Force was truly dominant over the final weekend, they finished the regular season as the second best team in Atlantic hockey. And that meant a home date with a stubborn Canisius team still licking their wounds from the February sweep. Taken away by Air Force. Falcons with numbers going four on three from right to left. They break in, they're on side shot, save, put back, score! Air Force, Kyle DeLaurel. Cycled out to the blue line, near side, Greg Jesse. Jesse from the top of the circle, shoots Torp with a save, rebound, put back, score, and it's 2-1 Griffs with 10.49 left in the second. Carew has it there. Carew turns, goes, breaks in, he's on side, walks in, shoots, cut back, the score! Air Force. Well, a nice rush by Air Force. Good pressure as they kept it on. Air Force ties the game 2 2. Out to the blue line, held in by Danford. They get it to McCrank. McCrank shot down low. Scramble in front. Score. Canisius, I think that's Patrick Sullivan again. Power play goal for Canisius. 3 2. Golden Griffins. Three against three. 
There's a shot saved made by Capobianco. Rebound out front, scramble out front. Pile of players in front of Capobianco, and the net stays clean. And here it is, Jason Torf is on the bench. Air Force goes with the extra attacker, feeds Gunner. Gunner comes up the near wall. Cole Gunner gets behind for a Carew. Wine shoots, and saved. Made by Capobianco, rebound out front. Scott blocked, and over the net it goes. At the blue line, Carew gets a takeaway. And now Canisius has the puck, McCrank has it, and he's going to be grabbed by Demers. Chad Demers had no choice but to reach out, and McCrank had a breakaway at an empty net had Demers not done that. Malcolm's will win the draw. Bring it around to the other side, and Torf heads off the ice again. It'll still be a five on five now with Torf off the ice. DeLauro goes in behind the net, battling Danford there, puck taken away by Logan Rowe. Rowe has it behind the net. Sends it out, intercepted by McKenzie. Drops it low for DeLauro. DeLauro goal line, feeds out to the blue line to Weisenhoff with his shot. Tip, score, score, score! Tony Thomas, score, Air Force! Danny Weisenhofer got that shot through traffic and a great tip by Tony Thomas, 10th of the season. Ties the game 3-3 with 108 left in the third. Holy smoke! Right to left, chipped into the Air Force end. Behind the net, Falcons try to rim it around and clear it. Kept in at the blue line. Danford has it. Danford feeding near side. Cross box pass, center it out. Front shot, score! Nine seconds to go. A power play goal. Canisius, oh my goodness. And that'll do it. Game one, Canisius. Of the Air Force end behind the net. Halloran will bring it up in front of the benches to Carey. Here's Carey with Cruz. They break in. Carey gives to Cruz. Cruz back to Carey. Goal! Air Force. We're tied at one apiece. What a play. Carey, the recipient of a great pass from Johnny Cruz. Ben Carey gets goal number six on the season. Cruz gets his 15th helper, and it ties the game 1-1 one, one, with 156 left in the first. Jeff at center ice by Carey. Falcon stay on side. Carey gives it to Hall. Tried to get it back to Carey. Broken up at the blue line. McKenzie has it. He shoots! Score! Air Force Adam McKenzie. Scott Holm with the screen. Ah, nice job by Holm. He cut right in front of the goaltender, and the junior defenseman gets goal number seven on the season, his 19th point. And Air Force takes its first lead of the series. Foot race here. Mike Walsh, Tory Lindsay going after that move puck. Lindsay takes it away. Lindsay centers out front. Torf makes the save. Torf makes another save. They're whacking and hacking in front of the Air Force goal. Torf is on the puck, and the crowd loves the effort of Jason Torf. A point to Halloran. Halloran sends it across for Thomas. He sends one down the slot. Hits body to loose out front, and Gunner tried to pick it up. Gunner shoots. Capobianco got a piece of that one. Top of the circle, feeds top of the slot to Carew, back to DeLauro, to McKenzie. For a one-timer! Back of the net! 3-1 Air Force. A block in front of Torp. Falcons still can't clear the zone, though. Canisius keeping the pressure on, and Gibbons finally makes some pay. Gibbons, bottom of the near circle, beats Torp, and it's 3-2. Back and forth they go, and here's a breakaway. This is Gunner coming in. Gunner goes back in, and he hit the crossbar. The puck is loose out front. Another shot. That's Carew. Save Capobianco. Falcons rim it around. Rowe cuts it off, keeps it in at the blue line. Canisius is trying to set up here in the Air Force end. Loose puck, scramble out front. Shot, score. Canisius with 1.58 to go in regulation. The Griffs tie this game. And this game, regulation anyway, comes to an end. Air Force three, Canisius three. Kept in at the blue line by the Griffs. Duncan McKellar has it. McKellar in the circle with a shot. With his bodies in front. It's loose out in front. And it, oh man, it popped into the air, came straight down over Torf's head, back of the net. And the unbelievable has happened at Cadet Ice Arena, a minute and eight seconds into the overtime. The Golden Griffins would make history by taking their first Atlantic Hockey Tournament title the following week. While a third straight trip to the NCAA tournament wasn't in the cards, this Air Force team had lived up to prior traditions. It was the seventh straight year the Falcons finished with a winning record. Plus, they once again proved to be a tough team to score against. 
ending up 18th in the country in scoring defense, allowing just 2.4 goals a contest. They also could put the puck in the net with great regularity, closing the campaign as the seventh best club in the country, scoring 3.26 goals a game. Six seniors have laced up their skates for the final time and each will be missed next season. David Bosner of Chesterfield, Missouri backed up the Nets for the Falcons this year. He worked diligently and practiced each week to push Jason Torf to be his best. Eric Artman, a defenseman from East Lansing, Michigan, led all Air Force Blue Liners in plus-minus with a plus-15 this season. He played in 62 career games with 15 points on six goals and nine assists. Another defenseman, Mike Walsh of Vernon Hills, Illinois, played steadily on the blue line all four years of his career. His 126 career games saw him nab 21 points on 19 assists and two goals, and his career plus-minus ratio was plus 23. Co-captain John Cruz came to the Falcons from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, and played in 147 career games, one shy of the current Air Force high. He has 39 goals and 55 assists, 94 points for a member of last season's all-conference team. Also from Eden Prairie, the other captain, Stephen Carew, scored a career-high 12 goals this season. He's played in a team-high 148 career games with a total of 67 points on 31 goals and 36 helpers. He's a finalist for the Senior Class Award, given annually to a collegiate athlete who's outstanding in their community and school, as well as in their sport. His versatility as both a forward and defenseman was key to the Falcons' success the last four years. Mission Viejo, California's Kyle DeLauro came into his own as one of Atlantic Hockey's top scorers, earning first-team All-League honors as a junior and senior. His 17 goals in league play this season were top in Atlantic Hockey. He finished with 19 goals overall and a total of 36 points. He scored his second career hat trick against rival Army this season and ranks 24th all time on the Air Force scoring list. 125 points on 50 goals and 75 assists. In all, these seniors combined to play in two NCAA tournaments, won two Atlantic Hockey Tournament titles plus a league regular season title. The group collected 74 wins in their four seasons, combining to play in 635 games with 322 points. The future continues to look bright for the Falcons. The top two defensemen return for next season, including Atlantic Hockey's Defenseman of the Year, Adam McKenzie. He led the team's D in scoring with 20 points, despite missing seven games with an injury. His eight goals were ninth most in the nation by a blue liner. Behind him, tender Jason Torf will also return for his final season. Torf finished this year fourth in Atlantic Hockey with a 2.36 goals against average playing the third most minutes of any goaltender in the country. He finished eighth in the nation in total saves with 969. His current .916 saves percentage is the best in school history. A bevy of underclassmen will vie for the team scoring title next season, and there's no doubt Air Force will once again be among the contenders in Atlantic hockey.